Secondary containment is a barrier between a potential oil hazard and the environment. Examples of secondary containment structures include dikes, berms, or retaining walls, curbs, diversion or retention ponds, culverts, gutters, or drainage systems, weirs, booms, barriers, and sumps and collection systems. For containers such as tanks, drums, or totes, the secondary containment must be large enough to contain the contents of the largest container within the storage area, plus freeboard to allow room for precipitation. To determine the proper size for secondary containment, facilities can utilize an equation using the 25-year, 24-hour rain event. This equation takes into consideration the maximum amount of rain that has fallen over a 24-hour period in the last 25 years. This method replaces the old 110% rule. If a facility is unable to provide secondary containment, a spill contingency plan is required to be included in the SPCC plan.